Hi Zoe. Hey hi Andy. Why do you look confused? I'm just confused what a graph is. Him, graph. Let me thinking. This seems like I've learned at school. Ah now I'm remember. Can you teach me? Yes, sure. Ye. In mathematics, and more specifically in graph theory, a graph is a structure amounting to a set of objects in which some pairs of the objects are in some sense related. The objects correspond to mathematical abstractions called vertices or also called nodes or points and each of the related pairs of vertices is called an edge or also called link or line. Typically, a graph is depicted in diagrammatic form as a set of dots or circles for the vertices, joined by lines or curves for the edges. The points on the graph often represent the relationship between two or more things. Can you give an example? Okay. Here, for instance can represent the data given, the type and number of school supplies used by students in a class, on a graph. Begin by counting each supply and representing the data in particular colors in a systematic order in a table. Then represent the data using a bar graph. The number of each of the supplies is represented with bars. The more the height of the bar, the more is the number of the supply or item used. There are different types of graphs. Picture graphs, bar graphs, block graphs, column graphs. Circular graphs or pie charts and line graphs, are a few of them. Now I understand what a graph is. But how about book embedding of graph, do you know? Book embedding of graph. I think I've learned it in school too. In graph theory, a book embedding is a generalization of planar embedding of a graph to embeddings into a book. A collection of half planes all having the same line as the boundary. Usually, the vertices of the graph are required to lie on this boundary line, called the spine. And the edges are required to stay within a single half plane. Book embeddings have also been used to define several other graph invariants including the page width and book crossing number. A book embedding of G onto B is a book drawing that forms a graph embedding of G into B. That is, it is a book drawing of G on B that does not have any edge crossings. Every finite graph has a book embedding onto a book with a large enough number of pages. For instance, it is always possible to embed each edge of the graph on its own separate page. There are several applications for embedding books that can make it easier for you to understand. What's that? A book embedding may be used to describe the phases of a traffic signal at a controlled intersection. At an intersection, the incoming and outgoing lanes of traffic, including the ends of pedestrian crosswalks and bicycle lanes as well as lanes for motor vehicles, may be represented as the vertices of a graph, placed on the spine of a book embedding in the clockwise order around the junction. The paths through the intersection taken by traffic to get from an incoming lane to an outgoing lane may be represented as the edges of an undirected graph. For instance, this graph might have an edge from an incoming to an outgoing lane of traffic that both belong to the same segment of road, representing a U-turn from that segment back to that segment, only if U-turns are allowed at the junction. For a given subset of these edges, the subset represents a collection of paths that can all be traversed without interference from each other if and only if the subset does not include any pair of edges that would cross if the two edges were placed in a single page of a book embedding. Thus, a book embedding of this graph describes a partition of the paths into non-interfering subsets, and the book thickness of this graph, with its fixed embedding on the spine, gives the minimum number of distinct phases needed for a signaling schedule that includes all possible traffic paths through the junction. Book embedding has also been frequently applied in the visualization of network data. Two of the standard layouts in graph drawing, arc diagrams and circular layouts, can be viewed as book embeddings, and book embedding has also been applied in the construction of clustered layouts, simultaneous embeddings, and three-dimensional graph drawings. Oh, no I understand what is book embedding of graph. Thank you. Bondi. Anytime Zoe. This is all thanks to you.